With a 4.5 star rating based on 19,000 global Amazon reviews, the Elder Cooling Blanket seems like a must have for any hot sleeper. So, is it right for you? Hey everyone, my name is Adriana and welcome to The Sleep Sherpa, a channel committed to guiding you to a better night's rest. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Elegir Revolutionary Cooling Blanket. If you saw a cooling blanket with this many reviews, would it trigger an immediate impulse buy? I can't say I'd blame you, but for those whose curiosity needs to be fed before making a purchase, let's look at the details a bit. The biggest selling point of this blanket is that it's made with a cooling fabric, but how exactly can we tell that it's a cooling blanket? Say hello to the Q-Max Index. The sensation of coldness or warmth when skin is touching an object is referred to as the coldness and warmth feeling, which varies depending on the amount of heat transferred from the skin to the object. Cato Tech's device, the Thermolab KESF7, measures such a feeling by evaluating the Qmax value, also known as the peak heat flux. Here's what you need to know. The higher the Qmax value, the more heat that can be taken away. So the higher the number, the more cooling it actually is. In their marketing copywriting, Elegir mentions that their blanket has a Qmax of 0.4, while many other brands only have a Qmax of 0.2. And what that basically signifies is that the other brand's products are not nearly as cooling, right? Um, I looked into this and it was surprisingly accurate. Uh, there aren't that many brands that have uh, products with a Qmax index that is as high as Elegir. I found maybe one other brand, but the others kind of fall in line with that like 0.2 Qmax value. Despite this, I still feel like there's a benefit to having variety in the marketplace. I mean, there isn't just one type of hot sleeper, right? The fabric used for this Elegir cooling blanket falls under the classification of Arc Chill Pro, but Elegir does have products with a higher Qmax should you be interested. There's one more thing I want to mention before I unbox this blanket. It's not made of cooling fabric all around. In fact, one side has cooling fabric and the other doesn't, which might be the reason why they're advertising this as all season. Let's get to the unboxing, finally. Turns out we actually don't need this. Unless my nails uh, can't suffice. Oh, they did today. Okay, cool. This blanket looks surprisingly small. It really looks so tiny. Wow, everything's coming off so nicely and easily. Did not expect that. So the blanket is actually like really, really thin. Um, I guess I shouldn't <laughs> expect it to be anything else. I mean, it really wouldn't make much sense for a cooling blanket to be thick, right? <laughs> um, but. I feel like the concept of there even being a cooling blanket is so unusual because I feel like when you're overheating, all you want to do is like take layers off, not add, not add any layers. But then that's where technology comes in and <laughs> science is so interesting. Okay, so I've got a little thread here. Hang on, let's take care of that. So, I mean, the fabric looks nice. It's really, really thin. Um, and now it's a matter of, you know, figuring out which side is which. By the way, with fabric like this, it's usually gonna be really, really, really delicate. Um, and this even says, do not bleach, do not iron, do not dry clean, do not tumble dry, hang in the shade. So air dry only. And if you don't want fabrics to get ruined, air drying, anything is kind of like a really great way to go. I read it somewhere on a website, which side is which. But I don't know why they wouldn't tell you this when you're opening the product, unless I'm completely blind, but let's see. So that's the biggest conundrum for me right now is I really want to know desperately which side is which. And uh, I 
it's difficult to know just by looking. I mean, maybe one would assume you can tell just by touching the fabric, but I feel like it can't be that simple. Can it be? Can it be that simple? You know, and does the fabric feel different because the texture is different? I feel like that plays a big role. One of the sides feels like really smooth. Um, it's not, it doesn't have like a satin or a silk um, material, but it almost feels like that smooth. The other side feels kind of more like cotton. You know, the other side feels, let's say something like something that resembles like a t-shirt you might wear like every day. And the other one actually feels like a fabric that you would have on like a shirt or a pair of pants that you wear to like the gym. So like active wear, something like that. So I'm assuming that this is the cooling side and this is the, uh, the not cooling side. <laughs> I don't know what to think just based on the unboxing. It looks very well put together. It does not look at all like cheap fabric. Um, I am finding some loose threads, but I'd rather find a loose thread than like a thread that's pulling. So, you know, that happens. Um, but the fabric does feel really nice. But is it cooling? I don't know. I might need to make a part two to this, you know. So I'm thinking about the Qmax index test. The way the Qmax index test works is that they basically mimic two different objects. Like one is gonna be, I guess, like the fabric or the material. You know, they can even look at materials like metal to dictate like what the Qmax value is. In any case, what they'll do is like, they have the test material and then they have to replicate something that has like the temperature of like a human hand. And it has to be able to also follow closely like how quickly that heat can dissipate from that hand. So the way the Qmax index test works is like, it mimics like you touching a piece of fabric or you touching uh, a material. You touching some kind of surface, basically. And as I'm sitting here thinking like, I don't know if, you know, <laughs> I don't know if I can tell the difference. I mean, I feel like maybe there is a bit of a difference. Here, let's do this. To do this, there's some kind of surface area. Okay. So, <laughs> as I'm touching the fabric here, what feels more like an everyday t-shirt cotton kind of feel. I feel like I don't want my hand here too long because it's gonna start sweating because it's just, it feels, not that it feels warm, but just that, you know, there's fabric. Um, but on this side, I feel like it doesn't feel so bothersome that like my hand is sitting on a piece of fabric. It feels really nice, but to be honest, like I'm a bit, I'm a bit unsure because I'm having a difficult time figuring out like is it just the fact that the texture is different or is it the actual fabric itself and that's where the confusion lies so it says cooling like no other but I don't know if I believe it although I really am due for a nap and maybe just maybe And if you find it disappointing, I'll just say, you try making a video like this. <laughs> you do it. Why don't you do it? <sighs> Is it cooling? Is it cooling? Hey, so I'm back again after a couple of days because I just needed to think about how I felt about the product and I guess sometimes when I'm filming, you know, having to make some kind of like decision in that instant can uh, add a bit of pressure. So of course I've had a few days, uh, you know, away from the product and one day I was thinking to myself, you know, like, why don't I just cloak this like over my shoulders? Like, I wonder how like that will feel. And I just had like a tank top on, so like my shoulders were bare and I did that and instantly like I felt what everyone was talking about as far as like the blanket being cooling you know and i thought wow okay i think i finally get it you know it wasn't enough to just put the blanket over like a piece of my like arm you know i didn't really feel much of that i feel like when you're able to cover a bigger 
uh, part of your body, then it's like a more, I guess, obvious feeling. So after that, I went upstairs and I asked my mom, like, I'm gonna cloak this over your back <laughs> and I want you to tell me how it feels. And she's like, okay. So I cloaked it over her back <laughs> the same way I did like for myself. And she was like, ooh, that's chilling. <laughs> And I thought that was really funny, you know? She tends to be pretty like sensitive to the cold. Um, and she was also surprised that like a blanket like this could have such an effect. So, uh, you know, I'm here. I know days later probably seems so silly, but um, I'm sold on it. I wasn't sold on it at first. I do feel like this blanket is like legit, you know, and uh, I guess I didn't really understand at first because I just was so skeptical uh, and really I mean the cooling feeling like it is supposed to be subtle it's not supposed to be like a you know ice pack right because um, if that's what you want I think that's like an entirely different product so anyway um, as far as Elegir is concerned like I like this blanket I think it's interesting you know, when you cloak it over your back or if you like lay it out on the bed and you lay on top of it, I feel like in those moments it's a lot more noticeable uh, for me at least that it is cooling. I'm a fan, I didn't want to believe that like this actually works, but it does. Let me save you some time and tell you what some other customers had to say. This isn't a miracle. It won't save you if you don't have AC in the summer. If you're a hot sleeper and using a fan at night makes you too cold, this blanket will help. To be honest, I bought this out of desperation. Perimenopause sucks. Hot flashes were kicking my butt. AC at 65, naked, haha. -ha. <laughs> Cotton sheets and an oscillating fan, even melatonin, and I still could not cool down and could not sleep. I sat on the couch and put it over my legs just to see if the review I read about it, being cool right away, was true. It was. I couldn't wait to go to bed. I slept like a baby. It felt so good. AC is back to 68 and the oscillating fan isn't needed anymore. It's true, this video didn't go as planned, but that's all that I have for you guys today. Check out the article linked down below for uh, the full scoop on everything and what happens after this whole thing. Um, <laughs> if you found the video to be insightful, entertaining, whatever, hit the like button if you liked it. <laughs> And for more content about the latest trends in the sleep industry, be sure to hit subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.